Hey guys, it's Maggie and I'm back today. We have another busy day. I'm taking it easy, all right? I'm taking it easy, but I do have things I need to get done. are new to my channel or have only seen a few videos, I am a Crohn's disease patient, which is an autoimmune disease of the GI tract. I have some other complications with my kidney, which I just had surgery for. Um, I am engaged and my fiance and I are basically building our own wedding venue to get married in this October and then we are opening a wedding venue business. So we are actively taking bookings at this point. And I think that people are starting to feel a little bit more comfortable now um, planning for their weddings, at least, you know, next year. Obviously, the craziness is still going on with current weddings. Like, I don't know what the heck is happening to ours. It's still happening, but it might look very different than what we thought. But for next year, people are still planning their weddings and they're moving forward. So we have three tours this weekend. Um, things picked up suddenly. So we are going to be running those tours. I have to get some paperwork together beforehand for all the couples because we like to provide 3D landscaping photos um, of what our landscaping will look like when we get there um, and some of the other things that we include with that. I think they're also trying to get a bit done in the barn. Um, obviously they're working on it all the time but they're trying to get a lot of the bar done from my understanding so we'll be out there kind of chit-chatting with with them and all throughout this I will be I'm sure experiencing bladder spasms because this kidney surgery and the stent that I now have in place for the next month is I I don't know if like I was in pain before so I didn't notice it as much but now I notice it the last two days it's like I have to run to the bathroom every five seconds because that little stents in there tickling the sides of my bladder and it's quite irritating I must say it's, oh my goodness what can you do though I don't know I'm taking the medications that my doctor prescribed to help with the bladder spasms and the kidney spasms I think I mentioned this I feel the kidney stent now it is very similar to the pain that I felt when it was like backing up with fluid the only difference is is that this pain is consistent. It's just, it has been there consistently um, for the last few days. It's not coming in waves much like it would when I would, you know, if I were to have a couple cups of coffee, my kidney would fill up and then I would feel this like terrible pain. And then as it slowly drained out, it would dissipate until I drank again. This is just, the pain's there all the time. It's very mild and I've been using a heating pad to help with it. So today is going to be a mix of me doing things and me not doing things, if that makes sense. I will be trying to rest a lot because I need it. And my voice is still funky, I'm sure, from being intubated or I don't know. I sound like a smoker, but what can you do? I don't know. Anyway, I will take you along on this day. Oh, I think you got it sideways. Nope. Uh. I'm looking for square. Oof. What is that? Oh my gosh, I love it. Yeah, it's gotta be really cool. That's like super, super cool. That's what I meant. Like, it's hard to, how do I even draw a picture or something like that? I just have it in my head. I think it's gonna work out really nice. That's really cool. All right, so these windows that you see here are actually going to become part of our loft area or our bar area that looks up at the loft. So this wall will remain here, but those windows are going to go up here so you can see into the stairwell. And then we'll have a big chandelier that'll go. Mid center, so. Yeah. Perfect. 
So yeah, our stairs will go here. The loft will be right above it. And they're gonna start working on that tomorrow, it sounds yep, like. Framing it up and possibly putting some window sashes or things in place. We'll yeah. see. That's awesome. My kidney hurts a lot. Actually, the spasms aren't too bad. That's good. Like, they were bad last night. But I can definitely feel it, so I'm hydrating. Bubbly. Bubbly. I just got the raspberry flavor. Today, I saw. I saw. And it might be my favorite. All right, so we're gonna head inside, right? Yep. Cool. Quick lunch, doggos meal, and the fishkins. All right, guys. So we didn't um, go in immediately from the barn. <laughs> but we finally left and we're gonna run some errands for the barn now, yep. uh, including going to the bank, getting cash out because we are getting a bunch of whiskey barrels Excellent. for Plus pup tea. grave tables. Yeah. And, oh, it's a bunny! Go the other way, dude. Get scared. Scare him away from the highway. Ah. <laughs> I don't want to scare him. He's cute. I know. Don't worry about he won't. Okay. Um, so whiskey barrels, cash for whiskey barrels, because our contractor is going to pick it up with his trailer. Uh, we tomorrow. are tomorrow. Yes. We are going to Lowe's, I think, to look at subway tiles for our bathrooms. But more excitingly, where are we stopping before that? Ek. Yeah. <laughs> I know. Okay. I get a lot of comments about my diet, okay? And I think because when I film, I try to film on days where it's interesting and we're not just at home. Um, you very but, healthy almost every, pretty much every day. Uh, yeah, we're pescatarian, so we only eat um, fish, so we eat a lot of salmon, um, things of that nature, a lot of veggies, you know, ones that I can handle with my Crohn's. I mean, we, pretty dang good. But BK and my Impossible Whopper is my treat, okay? And my french fries. So, you know, we all have different ways that our body works and um, mine does not seem to be affected by having an occasional Burger King trip, okay? So, please do not worry about me. Um, and if you choose to eat healthy 100% of the time, good for you. If you eat junk food, because that's what works for you, good for you. We all got to do what yeah. we got to do. We just found what works for us, so this yeah. <laughs> seems to be the best. Yep. Um, so, we are going to go there, because we need to eat also. And then, tonight we have, like, the, um, I think it's like a... What the heck is it called? It was um, it was sun-dried tomato zucchini oh, panini. I think. Yeah, that was that looked really good. I like the last time. Yeah. Was it like a pesto on it or? I think so. I don't know if it's the same one though. It might be a little different. But that's what we're gonna have for dinner. So we had that one pasta. I, I forgot the name of the shells. The stuffed shells. It wasn't shells. Oh, like tortellini. Yeah, it was like that with uh. Kind of. Ravioli. No. Ravioli. Roasted pepper, garlic sauce. That was good. Last night? Yeah, that was one. Actually, that oh might have been one gosh. of my favorites. It was like butternut squash, ravioli. Oh, it was so good. I wish it had more to it. Like, I wish we had a leftover. That one is so easy, though. It was six ingredients. I might just go pick up some time and make a box and just we section should. out a week of work. We could meals. freeze it and oh, then easily, yeah. use it later. So. That was really good. That and the risotto have been my favorite by S far. Speaking of squash, I definitely have squash plants that survived in the backyard and I should yep. probably go look because I did see baby squash a while ago. So we may have squash. If you need that, we have it. Maybe. Steak. Possibly. I don't know. <laughs> Anywho, so we're driving to wherever we're going. I can't remember. And we'll take Lowe's. Lowe's. Or TD first. TD. And we'll take you along for that. Oh, and when I said this morning that we had three tours, we're up to four. We're up to four now. This I don't know what happened. Um, word's getting around. So we're very excited. And 
the one that booked the fourth tour actually has already seen the barn. Uh, and then the great pandemic hit and uh, I'm assuming that's why she waited. So she's coming this weekend to see all the progress. And it was actually somebody who was gonna potentially buy our property a few years back. Not anymore. Um, not anymore, because <laughs> we own it. Sorry. It's ours now. <laughs> all right, well, hopefully we find some good subway tiles and Burger King. The future of my 20, 30 years ago. Uh, is it there? Yep, there you go. Oh my gosh. There you go. Don't show my license. Oh, perfect. Wow, I actually flipped it perfectly, so. Coolio. It has been a long time since we've gone through a bank um, drive through with the little tubes that you put your <laughs> card in and then they send your money. So I got that. Um, neato. And now, okay, there's a clothes and shoe drop off. Somebody put a chair there. So what are they gonna do with it? Guys, I think we have to take it. <laughs> Actually, it's not bad. It's literally, it says clothes and shoes drop. What does this other New one say? Chair. What does this other one say? Make sure it doesn't say like furniture. I highly doubt no. the second one says furniture here. What did it say? Clothes. See, okay, and then somebody puts a chair. <laughs> and we're going to help them out because they're not going to be able to do anything with it. It's not stealing. <laughs> it isn't because some jerk said, oh, I could just dump all my crap here. No, I know. It, it's actually, you're not supposed to put uh, furniture. I think yeah. you have to take it to a dump or something. So we're helping out. That's how I'm looking at it. You did, I suppose. That was fortunate. That was very fortunate. Okay, so now we have another chair. Should I go to the crater here? <laughs> Let's not hit the pothole in my vehicle. We're going to go to Starbucks too. Forgot about that. I promise we do not eat like this all the time. It's just happens to be. <laughs> no, it happens to be when close. I'm filming. Because it's a more exciting day and we're out and we're out. We're like, oh. Yeah, we can probably check the last time we went was the last time uh, you had your video. <laughs> yeah, it was. So, all right, cool. Okay, we are in Lowe's now. So, we are looking at the subway tiles for our bathroom so we can keep them clean a little bit better. And then I want to look in the garden section, of course. Cool. It's my favorite thing, you guys know. All my flowers. We are looking for tile for both the men's and women's bathroom for, it could even be like half wall. No, that's what we were gonna do. We were gonna do the yeah. whole thing. And then like the top would be white. I think it's four feet or something if by code or, we'll okay. learn. <laughs> so, I was thinking, not this one, but I'm too short. So the black and white version up there. That might be kind of cool. Or this one's kind of nice. Yeah. I think maybe for the women's restroom, make it a little more style. And the men's could. Be blue could, and then the men's could be I think this might look like this style might be better in the men's restroom. Or even like that. No, I like that. Was yeah. What else kind of looking at? Sorry, I guess you can't see what I'm recording. And then. This, is, this feels more like your home. Like, I feel yep. like you want to go for either a pattern or a darker color when it's commercial. But yeah, here, let's pull out. Or you can do this now. Oh, yeah. So, like here. Is that the black one? Okay, tell us your thoughts on this one for the bathroom. The walls. Wait, hold up once oh, more. Sorry. Perfect. <laughs> or. Housing. Um, right there. One of these two. This is. The, the bottom one might work too. It's a wooden look. Oh, that's kind of neat. Would that clash with our one light that we're trying to get though? We'll get, so we'll get some out of here. So, this guy. Option two. Maybe. Also, and, look yeah. at how Pull much. Up the third one just to see. Yeah. Look at how much I'm like able to move around now. <laughs> whereas opposed to before, I like couldn't do this. Like, so. That one's not, pretty. It's pretty, but I don't think for a bathroom. Okay. It's like a little too busy for my taste. Okay. And what about for the other bathroom? Which one? The E75? Okay. Would it be this? I think, I think so. Just to make them uh, a little different too. It feels nice too. Yeah. I don't know why, but I've been to a lot of like restrooms. I kind of like the darker tile look. 
Actually, uh, one right above it, I was about to say. I like this one. Here. And even possibly the one above that. I, I can't see oh, it too yeah. well. Oh, that actually is neat. That's cool. Sorry. That's that's kind of unique. I like yeah. that. Okay. That one's ugly. <laughs> Which one? This one. Uh, I... Polka dots. <laughs> I like it. You do a lot of grout between it. If you see up there, that's what it would look like. I actually really like E forty seven. E forty seven's cool. E three isn't bad, but actually E O five isn't bad either. That one up oh, there. Yeah. So I guess trying to get my best. Well, you're taller. At least you can try to. The wall of choices. Yeah. We'll let everyone pick. If you can see these numbers, pick a favorite number. We'll tally them up. <laughs> There's a lot. I know. Because you guys decided our floor tile. But we're leading women's restroom, the men's restroom, one of maybe these yeah, styles. See. Yeah, E49 for ladies and E47 for men. I kind of really like that. <laughs> Alright, <gasps> tell us your thoughts because you guys voted on the tile for our deck area, which Zach won. You guys voted and we went with it. <laughs> we didn't go with what I wanted, but it's fine. And the tiles came in today too, so that yeah. could be... Yeah, they'll be done next week. Yeah. That's exciting. All right, so tell us what you think about those. Cool. All right. So now we know kind of what we want. We're going to go look at the garden section. Did I do it right? Yeah. <laughs> Got all the pretty flowers. <gasps> I just like... I like the mix of these colors. Isn't that pretty? Oh, I love it. What are those? <gasps> that right there is like my favorite color. Oh my goodness. <laughs> what is it? Got the hydrangeas here. We do have one hydrangea in our backyard. And it is this color. It's pretty. Oops, sorry. <laughs> oh, this poor fella. <laughs> He's a little low. Aww. Yeah, he's dry. Gosh. They're all dry, that's yeah. why. Any more other birds on there would dry. It's hard though with this heat. Little birds. 50% off. I know. They're pretty. Patio right. yeah. Tropics. We must always have places in our woods we can plant things. Why is this not focusing? Sorry guys, there you go. Yeah, I was having a little trouble earlier too. Hopefully. It's not auto-focusing, it's like, maybe it's a setting I changed. I'll say yeah, it could have been the one set. Should, should, we look, should we look out front? Yeah, let's do it. We don't have anything, so. No, we're not getting anything. There we go, those are pretty. You can just take some of the seeds if you wanted. <laughs> Oh, did you rescue a plant? Yeah, all over. Poor guy. It's just, it's really sad. I think they can't have the employees like watering like yeah. they would every other year. All right, we are, we got our good ideas and we're going to head home. Yep. So. We need your votes. All right, we are now at home and we're in the back by the creek. Lovely harvest. Oh, should we show them? Uh, five raspberries. Yay! Five whole raspberries. <laughs> <laughs> I've shown them the wild berries that we have, but this is actually one that I planted. Is that any good? Should we try one? Let's try one. We'll try them inside. There's he lot, wants there's to a lot wash of, them off. Oh, I don't care. I'm just figuring you might because there's like little bugs on them or things. Protein. Roughage. True. It's good for you. So you eat healthy? <laughs> yeah. See? Healthy. I eat healthy. <laughs> exactly. Uh, I also had a good day of... Dahlia, coneflower, and marigold picking. So pretty, pretty, yay, I'm so excited. All right, I thought I would show you guys how I do my little flower arrangements and kind of what I'm planning on doing for our wedding. I got these bowls and candlestick holders from Dollar Tree and then I glued them together, uh, did some looking glass spray paint. It's basically a mirrorized spray paint. Um, so it kind of looks like that mercury glass. And then I took, this is what I have right now, so this is kind of goofy, but I took some micro pore medical tape <laughs> and I did a crisscross on top of my bowl so that way when I stick flowers in there or I stick leaves in there, they kind of, 
let me not knock this over because it's filled with water um but basically it allows me to stick leaves and flowers in there and they'll stand up rather than just like flopping to the side of the bowl and usually i start with the greenery and i i don't know we have these really pretty i think they're in the olive family but they don't have olives on them I, zach had looked up the name but it's this nice tree that we have all over our yard green on the top and then it's like silver on the bottom isn't that so pretty so i like these a lot and i just kind of stick them around the edge Now for our wedding, I'm getting foam, like the wet foam, so I can really stick stuff in there and not have tape. Um, but this is what I do when I'm being a little cheaper. So from here, I just keep adding in more greenery. I also have these leaves. I don't know what this is. It's got little thorns on it though, so it kind of hurts to touch it. And I will stick them in, and then the last step is sticking in the flowers. So I will show you this process sped up. perfect but it's got a lot of flowers so it's definitely pretty all right I came outside so I could show you better because when I had it in the kitchen there was too much in the background that kind of like I don't know you couldn't see the flowers pop as nicely so I'm gonna show you out here there we go what do you think this isn't my most favorite but it'll do it'll do for tomorrow I'm going to use this. I might put it on the bar or somewhere in the barn so when the couples come to see the the property this weekend, kind of give them like a sneak peek of what, you know, their flower arrangements might look like in the barn and I don't know. Lots of different color flowers. I love it. All right. Well, I think I am going to go relax because the bladder spasms are coming on strong again. They actually behaved while we were out, but I was sitting for the most part, so it's definitely time to sit back, put my feet up, get my heating pad, maybe some ice for my JP site, and yeah, just have a nice quiet night. And also wait for this storm that I think is coming to come in. All right, hopefully you enjoyed this video. I hope that you all are feeling great, and I'll see you in the next. Bye.